Hello and uh, welcome back again to my channel. Uh, this is the second part of a two-part series of a video that showcases the city of uh, Norton in uh, Zimbabwe. If you haven't watched episode one, please make sure that you go back and uh, watch uh, episode one. So this is the final part uh, where we get to show you the big opportunities that are available uh, in Norton. So make sure to take advantage of that. Um, so for now, sit back, relax, uh, and enjoy the video. Thank you. There are also some offices for agencies like uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, and um, Kuro. Um, these actually moved out from the CBD um, just to be able to cater for the large uh, population uh, that is uh, in uh, Norton and of course other surrounding areas of uh, uh, um, Norton also has the potential uh, to become a big mining industry. It is strategically located next to the mineral rich uh, Great Dyke, uh, endowed with chrome, platinum, and uh, gold deposits. So, this explains the presence of such mining giants like uh, Zimbabwe Platinum Mine in the outskirts of the town. Uh, there are also several other small mines around the town and other unexploited uh, mineral deposits around uh, the town as well. According to the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife website, uh, Lake Chuero Recreational Park is, is home to a variety of wildlife. Um, these include white rhino, giraffe, zebra, and the wildebeest. While numerous bird species have also found a paradise in the park, Lake Chuero is a habitant to several fish species. Uh, which include tiger fish, yellow fish, uh, hunyani salmon, and uh, black bream, among many others. This makes fishing a key economic and recreational activity in Norton's uh, immediate uh, environment. Uh, the park also boasts a variety of uh, noctowl species that include uh, civet, genet, uh, black backed jackal. A porcupine and uh, several others. A five star Hunyani Hills Hotel is one of the numerous hospitality uh, firms found around the lake. Since it is known, uh, it is a known leisure destination for local uh, travelers and international tourists. There are also several uh, wedding and party uh, venues around the lake. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Lake Miami is situated 5 kilometers to the north and is home to the diversity of fishes and other aquatic uh, creatures and recreational uh, facilities and activities. With such a rich surrounding decorated by a wide range of recreational activities, uh, boating, fishing, game driving and viewing, horse riding and facilities, resources like abundant waters, lodges, caravans, campsites, shallots, and picnic sites. Norton has an expensive potential to blossom into a colorful tourist town. Thank you. 
Two famous Zimbabwe footballers were actually born in uh, Norton. Uh, the first one is uh, Knowledge Musona, uh, born in Norton in 1990, uh, and then also Washington Arubi, uh, born in Norton in 1985. Uh, Knowledge Musona is a Zimbabwean professional footballer who plays actually as a left winger or forward for El Raida in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, professional league and actually captains the Zimbabwe national team. Previously he played uh, senior football in uh, South Africa, uh, Belgium and uh, uh, Germany. Washington Arubi is a Zimbabwean professional uh, footballer who plays as a goalkeeper for a premier soccer league side uh, that is uh, Marumo Gallens. Okay, so finally we go into the investment opportunities. Uh, why would we be attracted um, uh, to Norton as an investment uh, destination, especially for any local Zimbabwean or people uh, from the diaspora? So according to the Norton Town Council uh, website, um, the investment opportunities and uh, one of the project uh, name is mixed uh, commercial use uh, development um, and uh, in terms of uh, opportunities that exist uh, we have the Tanakatara extension housing project um, that is about 150 residential stands measuring an average of 1,000 square meters and uh, attendant service and commercial stands. Um, the council intends to service these projects uh, through a PPP, which is a public-private uh, partnership. So basically, if you have the resources and funds, um, then you would jointly work with uh, Norton uh, Town Council and then service these 150 uh, residential uh, stands. Um, number two is uh, over 100 uh, industrial stands in various areas of uh, Norton, um, measuring at least 3,000 square meters. Uh, and uh, these are industrial uh, stands for uh, various activities. Uh, number three is two school stands. Um, for serious investors who may want to invest in education center, 
uh, sector uh, available in Norway, uh, Narira and uh, uh, Galloway. And then project number four is uh, water treatment plant and uh, smart uh, water meters. The 40 megaliter water treatment plant, which will be constructed in phases, is a solution to the perennial uh, water shortages faced by Norton. The project, which will be uh, implemented through again another PPP, has a component of supply of smart uh, water meters. So, this is actually an opportunity um, for IoT where you'll be able to uh, supply the smart water meters. Um, there's also various roads in Norton uh, for street lighting and also available about six hectares for lease for a solar power uh, plant. Um, so the council can actually facilitate, facilitate a dialogue between investors and uh, factory owners. And uh, this uh, street light um, actually is uh, the fifth project. And then um, we talked about the various uh, factories that have closed. I went to visit one of them is uh, Kunyani Paper Mill. Um, but when I talked to a caretaker on site, they were actually telling me that uh, it has got some new investors. But there's several factories which are closed. And um, so these, this is project number six, various factory shells owned by industrialists who have closed a shop. So the council can actually facilitate um, dialogue between an investor and uh, factory uh, owners in case you want to pick up one of the factories. So there's a lot of potential uh, in Norton and uh, basically this sums up um, my uh, drive and uh, uh, the visit uh, through Norton. Um, of course, I hope to go back and uh, give more detail um, so that we can actually explore as much opportunities uh, that there is uh, in the town of Norton. And then uh, hopefully we can also work together as I um, uh, avail some of the opportunities that exist, maybe not the ones that we see here, but there's uh, many avenues to get information um, and many avenues to actually look at the potential uh, for investment that actually exists uh, within, the, 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 within Norton uh, area. So it's a very good area um, and I think as you can see uh, through the video uh, the town is bustling it's busy there's a lot of informal trade there's also quite a lot of uh, formal trade there's opportunities for shops um, you can see uh, we have uh, containerized shops like uh, uh, the bakers in uh, retailing uh, their bread um, in the container shops so people are becoming to becoming very very uh, innovative um, because of course with uh, over a hundred thousand uh, people living in the area it means there's a lot of uh, opportunity um, and a lot of demand for various uh, products and services um, so a lot of money is exchanging hands and uh, therefore there's a lot of uh, opportunities opportunity for construction uh, there's a lot of shops there, informal and both formal uh, shops supplying hardware materials like cement, doors, frames, uh, construction materials, uh, cement, uh, bricks, sand, three-quarter stone, etc. Um, there's also opportunities uh, for the normal FCG, fast-moving goods, uh, so for shops like OK, um, shops like uh, TM Pick and Pay and other supermarkets where you can actually get um, your everyday goods, uh, vegetables and others and of course uh, people need to move from point A to point B so uh, the transport industry is also another uh, big booming uh, industry that's uh, 
available to be exploited. Um, and since it's also an industrial area, um, there is a lot of labor now available, cheap labor available there. So if you were to uh, set up a factory, set up an industrial site, this could be uh, something that's worthwhile uh, considering and uh, worthwhile doing because that gives you access to um, uh, the cheap labor and the cheap resources and uh, abundance uh, as it's readily available. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video and if you do please uh, like this video so that it can spread um, to others and uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel uh, and you like this type of videos please do subscribe um, and uh, you can leave me a comment so that I can know what sort of um, content uh, people are interested in uh, what sort of information um, they are looking for and together we can help each other and I would really like to uh, get that information and showcase uh, what you're looking for. So thanks once again and uh, uh, see you next time in the next video. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.